Alright, so, back to this, um, yeah, just finished volume 12 of, uh, again, you know, as you can tell by the title, Nikomi Can't Communicate, uh, manga, right, uh, finished volume 12, uh, I've stopped counting chapters and, you know, uh, the titles, uh, so just, again, you know, you can look at that yourself, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I just, I must have, like, memory issues or some shit because like i just read it but i can't remember i do remember the girl's name though is man paggy right you know i could not for the life remember her name in the previous one or man baggy man paggy i don't know one of the two but it's close enough right at least at this point but again with that finish this um volume in um this should be a relatively short video because not a lot happened right um there weren't really any meaningful, again, you know, the first things first, right? There weren't really any meaningful Komi Tadano interactions, but again, that doesn't mean that there weren't any meaningful interactions between other characters, right? Um, specifically, the big kind of new character, first off, completely off topic, I want to say fucking Narusi. Dude is a riot. Easily my favorite character in the entire show. Like, he kind of just skyrocketed. Like, I didn't really pick up on his character first time around. Then I noticed him more when re-watching this show and just kind of how ridiculous it was. And from what we've seen in the manga thus far, he's easily become my favorite character. From getting kicked out of the freaking library just for, like, existing. And then the whole, you know, beach sequence with his, like, crazy swimsuit is just, again, easily my favorite character in the entire show. Completely irrelevant. I just want to point that out. Narusi is just an absolute riot. He's probably my favorite character. Like, he's... That's the level of, like, confidence in, like, just sort of, you know, that, like, I aspire to, like, achieve, right? You know, but again, right? It reminds me a lot of freaking um, Sweetheart from, like, Omori, uh, funny enough, right? In terms of their, like, character comparison. Just, again, like, nar typical, like, embodiment of narcissism. But again, it's funny because, like, the dude is just, like, so, like, ridiculously, like, over the top. Again, it's just, it really is, like, honestly so hilarious, but... <sighs> again, right, the big thing there, and with that, uh, then moving forward, is again, so, th th besides that, right, again, getting into meaningful interactions, uh, the main new character that was, well, we had a couple new characters get introduced, um, the first was the new teacher, right, you know, and I kind of want to go over her character, because it's actually a pretty interesting one, and what I feel like, you know, resonates a lot with, you know, again, you know, I I've been saying something to where, the characters that are getting introduced now, you know, th like, as we get further along in the story, they have, like, meaning and purpose. They're not really, like, filler characters being introduced anymore. Characters who are just the embodiment of, like, specific, like, stereotypes and, like, their character traits. You know, it, it now that the story is kind of picking up, right, we're more invested in it, which is why I decided to continue on with the manga. Again, a lot more of the characters we're, like, seeing now are actually, you know more meaningful and serve a, more of a purpose, right? Again, with the big thing there being this, this character is one of them, right? The new teacher. I honestly don't remember her name, but again, you know, really what her character, again, is kind of the embodiment of, is kind of like the workaholic mentality or attitude, right? Again, she's someone to where, like, again, you know, we can see how punctual and, like, formal and, like, you know, uh, attention to detail, like, to the point uh, she is when she's on the job, right? You know, when she is working, uh, especially when interacting with other either colleagues or students and then again we see the moment she gets home she literally passes out sleeps through the entirety of saturday and gets up at like 1 p.m on sunday which is crazy that is like nearly 48 hours of sleep but again you know and she can't even like move because of how exhausted she is but again real and then obviously you know we see her run to get groceries she meets with comey and kind of dips in which is comey isn't even in her class right but, you know, she, like, bail, or, no, I think she is, yeah, hold on, wait, I actually have no clue, I think she's in a different class, because, yeah, no, I don't think Najimi's, yeah, she's in Najimi's class, because Najimi keeps forgetting her homework, but again, you know, the big thing there being she, like, bails, right, again, because she didn't want to be seen, but then, you know, that's something to where, um, she gets to school, right, and then Comey brings her a lunch, saying, like, oh, I'm sorry if I, like, bothered, she came up with some, like, fire excuse, right, but, you know, again, Comey just was like, you know, if I was bothered, sorry if I was bothering you or whatnot, you know. So in her typical, like, polite format, kind of overthinking about whatever it is, right, you know. But again, the big thing there being that's like, yeah, you know, with that 
comes down to there and the thing with that is again it's oh, Jesus is it something to where it's like yeah you know the big thing there with what that comes down to is that um again yeah you know you see that uh you see kind of the breaking down of those barriers because I remember was it Najimi says like you know oh I forgot my homework again you know uh, and then she says, oh, go get the papers from the teacher's lounge. Like, I forgot them. So, again, you know, Najibi sprints out. But, again, that's kind of the breaking down of that, like, front that she's been trying to put on this whole time, right? You know, the workaholic uh, sort of mentality, right? Again, you know, to where you don't need to, like, work yourself to death. And, again, you know, th this character is definitely one that, like, I'd say – I don't want to say one that resonates with me because, you know – Again, you know, I, I have a private playlist basically going in depth and like detail over my whole college experience and kind of where I'm at now with my line of work. Um, basically, I will say I kind of used to like subscribe to this mentality in college. So obviously it wasn't to the same extent as during in like if I were actually working. But again, in college, I was very much about going above and beyond with like what you were doing, right? You know? um for just for the sake of it right um but again that's something to where over time and as i got you know closer to graduate in my like upperclassmen years of college i kind of like let go of that mentality or something to where i was like yeah i mean i like specifically after my after my junior year of college right because that was kind of the culminating point to where like all right you know this is what's all been done up to senior year i didn't really do much but again it, things didn't i guess you know i i didn't what what's the term right you know there, there's a way to put it. like i didn't gain as much out of it as i thought i would with the work i put in so it's something to where i kind of dropped that mentality and again have more of a mentality and now surrounding regarding just you know doing your job doing your work you know taking care of like others it's not so much about just being going above and beyond all the time 24 7 right and being this like perfect person but again something i'm glad i learned in college so i knew it going into like you know my line of work and again like just like the field like career like stuff like that you know out into the world um but again something to where this is a very real i'd say like and and especially you know if you're on like the grind for like promotion stuff like that because i'd say you know and, and again because this also gets into the real topic like let's say you work a dead end like nine to five i mean you know or like a nine to five or like some dead end job somewhere right or some like random like ass like you know work right like if if there are problems that come with those you know but it's usually something to where again at least you know you're not doing a lot on your own out of work right or like you're not going above and you're not putting in a lot extra right unless you're doing like overtime or some shit right but if you're like, let's say some fucking like, you know, like, let's say, I guess, you know, um, what's the term? Not like random nine to five dead end job, like random like work. Let's say you're actually in kind of like, I guess, qu like quote unquote lucrative career field. You know, if you're on that grind to try to like get like promotions and stuff and try to like, you know, get ahead of your peers, like, dude, like people and again that that's kind of goes to the whole like japanese work culture too right to where like people will literally like destroy themselves over their career right and that's i i feel like what this is again you know what was averted or avoided right with her interaction with homies but again specifically with how this applies to real life and what i've seen again i'm, I'm just it's something to where in kind of the whole point of this right is i'm glad that the characters they're introducing actually are kind of more meaningful and have like again more i guess like they, they are more meaningful and are more applicable to like the real world rather than let's say like Ren Yamai who's like the worst character in the whole series and shouldn't exist thankfully we haven't seen much of her anymore since she's no longer in the same class thank fucking Christ but easily the best part of going into the manga is not seeing her face uh, like everywhere but I, the, the creators probably recognized just how terrible of a character she was and like made that excuse to remove her from like you know but again be, besides that right um yeah, so, again, you know, the, I guess, so that's the first thing, her character, but obviously she kind of appeared once as, like, a one-off, I mean, maybe she shows up again here, now, again, right, but again, that, that was kind of the big thing with that. Now, moving forward, the second kind of new character that was introduced is the, again, you know, the uh, grade schooler who moves in with, uh, again, you know, Comey, right, into their household, again, like, her parents are away on a business trip, 
and again, you know, she's like her mother knew her mother in school, so she's staying over. Again, that kind of thing. And again, something to where her specifically, right? Like she's in grade school, but she literally acts like an adult. Like she might as well be an adult in a kid's body, which sounds crazy. Don't like, you know, quote me on that. Um, but again, it, it's something to where like she's very like mature for her age, right? I mean, you know, she's li she's basically independent. She's like like Comey's mom, like Shuko, which we know uh, freaking this kid i don't remember her name the kid absolutely hates like treats her like a baby and she's like i can take care of myself just thanks for you know food and a roof over my head right but again it's something where when when we see her interact with comey right again it's kind of something to where again you know kind of the thing is they're each like wondering about each other like you know oh uh, like to them because they don't really talk right you know it's kind of co takes comey to like think about it herself right like oh what would others tell me you know, to go, like, you know, talk to her, right, like, and then you would have Tadano's conversation, Najimi's, Onimimi's, and then fucking Yamai's is in there, but again, obviously, whatever she would do, don't do, do the opposite, right, but again, you know, she ends up going, well, funny enough, first off, she ends up going with Tadano's con, like, right, but again, it's something to where, like, again, it ends up, like, kind of, I guess, uh, initiating, like, conversation with her, and they end up, like, talking, getting to know each other, it kind of delves into this whole, like, fantasy like thing regarding their stuffed animals and plushies right again you know and then in lean into like you know uh the rest of her family like uh when they come back or whatnot right again it's just it's interesting there to see again you have two i mean comey with kind of her issues regarding communication and then you know someone like this you know new grade school kid who's like really mature for their age um again and kind of doesn't take i guess into like trivia like you know what 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 would you call it um not trivialities, but I guess more like, um, again, you know, doesn't take to just, you know, like playing games, right? But they end up, you know, finding something to do and kind of go on about with the whole plushy thing, like I said. So, again, just the thing there being that's like, yeah, you know, uh, what that ends up coming down to there is it's like, yeah, you know, it, it's just, again, interesting to think or like note right um and then obviously you know tadano and najimi come over right and then um you know again it's something to where yeah you know then they go out you know and have more fun najimi really connects because she's she's the one who can kind of really break down the like front you know that this kid set up right and actually like plays with her and you know she, she's like trying to hide her embarrassment right you know but even like you know tadano right he even recognized she wanted like his like toy from like mcdonald's or wick down whatever they call it from fucking wackas right because what would you call it? aussies call it maccas right you know so they call it, well, again whatever you know but so he offers to like trade you know on his end saying he wants hers right but you know when in reality it's about getting her the one that she wants so again and then comey kind of goes through a little bit of a slow like slum saying like you know oh they like interact with her better you know she likes them more than me but again, you know, that's something to worry again. She also then kind of realizes that's like, I mean, what would you call it? Like, at the end of the day, it's just about having fun. It's not this, like, serious thing, right? I mean, because that's what really Najimi showed, you know, with kind of, again, you know, spending that time. Like, they freaking, like, running around the house, you know, just, uh, which is very different from how she came off, right? Again, when just interacting with, like, let's say, our people. But, again, an interesting thing to note there. And, again, really kind of the last major thing is, again, the whole which is really kind of a, again, you know, the whole beach like scene, right? Um, again, with uh, what would you call it? Again, actual like meaningful interaction. Cause now that uh, Manpagi is kind of introduces this like alternative love interest is something where her characters and the fact that again, what's it's the four people, it's Tadano, Katai, Komi, and then her scene together. So that's gonna kind of be the focal point. Obviously Najimi include too. Uh, funny enough, Narusi seems to gain more interaction, which is kind of crazy. Um, cause I guess he's pretty close with Katai. A again, dude, easily my favorite character in Arusi. But again, you know, um, right. The big thing there and what that ends up coming down to what we see is that it's like, uh, again, you know, so at the beach, right. Something to where I guess, yeah, well, a, first off they hang out and have fun at the beach. Right. You know, uh, they originally it was just going to be what Komi and Manpagi, but then she offers to like bring everyone else and Manpagi's like, oh yeah, shit. I forgot about that. I meant to do that. So, again, then they end up pulling everyone through. Like, the big thing was that, again, you know, Najimi wasn't there, who's normally the one who keeps conversation, so it was a bit awkward. But then they all played, like, whatever rhyming game. And then, again, when they got to the sea, I guess not the beach, the sea, right? They are able to have fun. So, you know, 
again, the big thing there with that is, um, again, Ryan, they had a grand old time, you know, um, again, the, the big thing in where, like, the meaningful interaction, I say, comes is, you know, so there's this group of guys that show up at the beach at, like, 6 a.m., right, you know, to prowl on, uh, you know, girls, right, you know, typical, like, delinquent activities, I don't know if it's actually the same group, um, but again, you know, they, they kind of pass on everyone, right, except, funny enough, Mampagi, right, so one of them goes, like, hit on her, right, and, you know, he gets, like, turned, not even, to, yeah, he kind of gets turned down, right, but then it's something where he's like, oh, you know, do you have a boyfriend or whatever, right? And it's like, you know, trying to get that. And then the other delinquents show up and they're like, oh, is this your, like, some tr kind of, like, giga brain, like, setup or something, you know? But then, you know, Tadano, he comes, well, first off, Katai comes over and scares the shit out of them, right? You know, just buys presents. And then Tadano comes and says, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm a boyfriend, right, or whatnot. And then she, they're like, oh, shit, my bad. And then they dip. But obviously, you know, that's something to wear because this is up the door of Katai and, you know, freaking um, Komi were there. So both ironically enough people who have some interest in Tadano dude Tadano like dude is ultimate riz like he's pulling like three people at once like freaking uh like more than anyone well okay excluding Comey right but that's more of a cult following as opposed to anything else but dude Tadano's got like dude it's like oh my god MLB I, I keep making these comparisons like MLB it's pretty crazy like Marinette pulls like more people than anyone else combined with okay with the exception of Adrian it's basically the same concept here but again besides the point but, you know, obviously, like, Tadano said that in front of, like, Homie and Katai. He's like, oh, and, like, again, he himself was very, very sad. He's like, oh, no, I, I said that just to save her. Which is, that's, like, a W, like, friend right there, right? Like, he recognized the trouble she was in. So he's like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, we're together, right? Like, that's, like, actually, like, you know, that's a really good friend right there. And that's, like, a really good, like, move. Like, that's, like, you know... Like, especially for someone you kind of just met, like, recognizing the situation and being able to do that. Again, that that's, like, a really good, like, move. Like, like that's, like, you know, that's, like, a really good, like, friend right there. You know, if they're, like, willing, like, if they can recognize and then do that, right? Um, but, again, obviously, he's just like, oh, you know, I, it's, we're not, I just did to, like, you know, help her out. And then, but we see kind of Man Poggy's reaction is, again, someone who kind of has interest in, so I don't know, Ryan, she's like, oh, like, again, you know, she was super embarrassed, right? But again, the, the big thing being, A, not only that, like, again, you know, it, I guess the interesting thing is, because, again, as of this point, right, Mampagi still thinks Tadano is with Katai, I'm pretty sure. Again, based on that umbrella scene. So, again, it, it's something to where that's kind of interesting. Like, I can see, like, obviously she's embarrassed. But it's something to where I can see that being, you know, potentially adding on to her kind of, I guess, sort of, like, what what's the term, you know, her, like, I guess, potential, like, betrayal of trust or sort of, like, you know, her potential, you know, falling out with Tadano, given that, again, you know, it's something to where I guess she thinks maybe he's using her or something or that, you know, he's leaning her on, especially, you know, if she already thinks he's with Katai and then meanwhile he comes out and says this, again, it's... That could be something that could impact future. Also, it could be something to where we didn't really see it, but pending Comey's reaction, right? Like, how she feels about, like, again, you know, an actual potential, like, competition, right, regarding Tadano, right? Because let's be real here, you know. I mean, I guess Najimi would have been the initial one, right? Um, and then Onamimi came around, but then, yeah, obviously she came more of support, right? Um, and, but now it seems like Vampagi really is the actual true, like, alternative love interest character that's kind of introduced. So, again, really, it'll be interesting to see, again, you know, and especially since it was supposed to be an initial, inter it was only supposed to be them two at the beach, right? But obviously they end up inviting more people. But again, it's interesting there, and it's something to think about, again, regarding, all right, you know, with that being the case, like, what's, I guess, this, like, whole thing gonna look like right you know what is it like come again just something to where it's like i mean yeah just it, it'll be kind of interesting to see how it all plays out again i really like this volume um again unfortunately no real like meaningful komi tadano interactions or moments but obviously we got a lot out of other characters um again so this is what volume 12 again we're just gonna keep keep it up with the one volume per and I'll make a video per each. Again, these videos have been coming out to roughly 15, 20 minutes, so that's good. Um, and then, yeah, you know, this is my first one. The day I'm going to do a second one, make dinner, and then I'll do another recording and probably two more of these after. But again, we'll see. We'll see, right? And it's at a, funny enough, it actually kind of extends my 
play or I guess like reading of this, you know, because each volume is kind of like 15 pages ish. So I'm taking more time to like, I guess, kind of enjoy or like, you know, what, what's the term um, to really kind of uh, take it in. Right. <clears throat> and enjoy this experience because at some point I'm going to catch up with where it is. Right. You know, and then I can't like binge it anymore. I need to just wait for each new chapter to come out. But again, it's very interesting. I'd say seeing where it's going and then especially now kind of backwards thinking like oh if we do get a season three what's it gonna look like where is this gonna go but again with that i don't really have anything else to say for this one i think that covers everything so yep that's it for this one see you in the next one